Jojo Siwa has been in quite a bit of drama recently after she defended Colleen Ballinger on the Howie Mandel podcast. And now she's in some more drama after one of her exes decided to air out their messy breakup with all the details. At least that's what fans are thinking. TikToker Avery Cyrus posted a story time to her TikTok this week detailing a toxic relationship she was in. And fans are convinced this is her finally opening up about how her and Jojo broke up. For context, Jojo Jojo and Avery dated last year and the entire relationship was drama filled as Avery had just gotten out of a relationship with her longtime girlfriend Soph and basically the week they announced their breakup, she was with Jojo. The two of them made a ton of online content together so their fans were really hurt to see Avery move on and move on so quickly. Avery faced a ton of backlash and so did Jojo as they called her a homewrecker and constantly filled videos of the two of them together with hate, feeling like not only did the two of them get together so quickly, but they also just seemed so different. People could not process them being a couple. It was a whole drama. As time went on, they had their own relationship drama and man, was it messy. Basically towards the end of their relationship, Jojo and Avery went to a Fletcher concert and Jojo's ex-girlfriend Kai was there with her girlfriend at the time. Following this concert, Jojo and Kai were spotted at Colleen's sister's party, and from that night on, rumors started as to whether or not something was going on between the two of them. Kai's girlfriend started posting TikToks that pretty much confirmed they broke up after the Fletcher concert, and so people were wondering if Jojo and Avery had also broken up and if Jojo was about to get back together with Kai. Jojo and Avery started to be seen together a lot less, but two weeks after Jojo was seen with Kai at Colleen's sister's party, her and Avery went on a Royal Caribbean cruise together, but this was a workout obligation as the two of them were there to promote the cruise. It was there that they confirmed that they broke up. They had posted a TikTok and Jojo admitted in the video that she broke up with Avery. Now the breakup got messy as Jojo had hinted at feeling used for views during this relationship. Her mom had posted a video of her venting saying she felt this way. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Because I got used. For what? <laughs> for views. Oh. And for clout! Oh. And I got tricked into being told that I was loved! And I got played! <laughs> At the time, tons of people were trolling Jojo because they felt like the relationship was doomed from the beginning with the way that it started. And Avery had been posting videos talking about getting her own karma for everything because of how her and Jojo ended and how she ended things with her previous ex. But now we're getting some more information from both sides on this breakup as both Jojo and Avery have recently come out to talk about each other. They didn't mention each other's names, but the timeline of events and ages match up in the story so everyone is pretty convinced they were both recently talking about each other. When Jojo was on the Cancelled podcast, she was talking about her exes with Brooke and Tana and how she's felt used in certain relationships before and talked about one in particular with someone who also had a social media platform. You were talking about one of your exes, like they just wanted the views. They used yes. you for views, right? Yes. Um, What is that drama? What happened? That's a great question. I wish I fully knew myself. <laughs> um, I've... It was huge, though. I know it broke the internet. Yeah, it was, it was like massive. Big, yeah, like the gay TikTok. Yeah, so I had a relationship like... that really... That, start, that started public on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Was public on the internet <coughs> and ended public on the internet. There's been multiple cases where I have been without a doubt used whether that's mm. for views whether that's for money whether that's for experience like mm -hmm. and and that is fine it's happened multiple times i mean it's not fine but it sucks yeah it sucks part but of specifically we, an instant i was very deep in a relationship and i kind of just wanted it to fizzle and yeah. we had kind of talked about it fizzling and i was fine with that like she was fine with that and then all of a sudden out of nowhere um, I was being made out to be a very bad guy on the internet. Yeah. And I was like, oh. She goes on to say that nobody should have been the bad guy in the situation at the end of the day and how powerful the internet can be. And goes on to say how this person was acting different on camera than they were with her. At the end of the day, I'm at this point in time, 19. Yeah. At this point in time, she was 23. Yeah. 
were both very, very young. Yeah. There's no need for anybody on the internet to be the bad guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we've both messed up. We Which is a mature standpoint at 19. There's just a lot that the internet doesn't get to see. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And I think once it was right in front of my face and I saw it and I was like, oh, there's a camera up and you're acting like this. And now the camera's away yeah. and you're acting like this. And it's a feeling. And feeling and the internet only sees what the camera was filming they don't yeah. see what happens when it went away oh my god and, yeah, that, and they believe what they saw and that's what was really hard for me to navigate is like i knew what was going on but there was no possible way for the internet to fully know and so without you using the power to be like yeah and so yeah, you once i realized your audience yeah like once, that's really like mature though once like, i realized there was no it was a lose-lose situation i was like all right well i'd rather lose like this you know what yeah. i mean now, Avery has come out in a TikTok to talk about her side of what everyone believes is this JoJo breakup, and she is definitely not making JoJo look the best. One time, me and my girlfriend at the time were at this concert, and then her ex shows up. So she decides to go start talking to her ex. Her ex is so into the conversation, she's like leaning over the rail, like, oh my god, I heard she's gonna play this song that's on her Smiley Face album. Me and her girlfriend are just sitting there like... I don't really think anything of it until the next morning when my girlfriend at the time was like, I think I should text my ex and let her know that there's no bad blood between us. Like what? Obviously I was sussed out, but I was like, okay, I guess that's valid. She shows me the text and sends it and then goes to work out. I'm working on her computer and then text messages pop up when she's downstairs. Turns out she sent more messages, something along the lines of, oh, I still have the thing you gave me when we first met. And the ex's response, keep in mind she had a girlfriend at the time, was the pet name that they used to call each other. And, oh, I still have that too. And I also have the ring that you gave me so i went downstairs and i told her i saw them she's like i won't respond as forward three days later she dropped me off at the airport to go home and as soon as i walked through my front door she sends me a voice memo breaking up with me through voice memo i was freaking distraught i was not expecting it even a little bit the next morning on a plane to see my parents and i get the whole i messed up i had a dream about you it's me not you obviously i wanted her back but i was like really think about what you want i was almost convincing her to take more time and to really think about what she wanted because I could not handle this again. Or so I thought. I ended up taking her back and from the get-go, the texts were so off. But the whole time she was sending me gifts like cookie cakes, cakes, cupcakes, her hoodie, her jewelry. And I was like, okay, maybe it's all just in my head. So I confronted her about it and she was like, honestly, I think it's best that we just stay friends for the next time that we see each other just to take the pressure off of our relationship. And then a couple days later, she gets caught hanging with her ex. Keep in mind, this is the same ex that her and her entire family would talk so badly about. So fast forward a couple weeks later when we were supposed to be on the same work vacation together. And it was weird because it almost felt like nothing happened. We were touchy, we were cuddling, we were having sleepovers. And then we kissed and then we cuddled. And the next morning I go to leave and she's like, oh, you're just gonna leave? And then kisses me goodbye. And then she starts being weird again. And she's like, I don't want to do this whole friends with benefits thing. That was my final straw. I honestly just couldn't handle getting rejected another time. The interesting part is when Avery mentioned that this ex of hers would talk really bad about their previous ex with their whole family at the time. But when JoJo was uncanceled, she only had the best things to say about her ex, Kai. My first ex, I'm very good friends with yet. Mm. Um, and and I, she's a great human. I feel very inclined to speak highly of her. Yeah. There's a good way to put it. Um, I just couldn't figure out those words. What a mess of a situation, honestly. People couldn't believe Avery had just randomly posted about the breakup details. But I honestly think it might have had something to do with the fact that JoJo had just talked about it on Cancelled. It would make sense for that to have been the reason why she wanted to reveal all of these details. And I will say that the story seems to sort of line up with what Kai's ex responded to Jojo after the Fletcher concert drama. She saw the video going around of Jojo saying that she was used and chose to reply to it upset and call out Jojo for having reached out to Kai after the Fletcher concert. Kai, why are you mad? Because I got used. Correct me if I'm wrong, Queen, but didn't you text Kai the day after the Fletcher concert? And didn't you hang out with her both the day before and the days after her and I had broke up? And I'm assuming that's the same timeline. You broke up with Avery um, when y'all two were hanging out, so. I'm sorry. So it definitely kind of lines up with what Avery was talking about in her TikTok. But this whole thing is certainly just such a mess and it seems Jojo can't escape a drama these days. But that's what's been going on with her and what her ex has come out to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.